Lesson 2.3, Model Division with Two-Digit Divisors. If you missed 2.1 and 2.2, they're linked in the description. We can use base 10 blocks to model and understand division of whole numbers. And we can use hundreds, tens, and ones blocks to model splitting the dividend into groups of the same size. And we can regroup a large square of 100 for 10 tens, or a long of 10 for 10 ones. For 165 divided by 11, that means we have 165 in all, and we're going to divide it into 11 equal groups. We start with 100 square. That's going to be 10 plus one more. That's 11 groups. And we put another 10 and a 1, another 10 and a 1, another 10 and a 1, and another 1, and another 1. That's going to put 15 in each row, in each group. 165 divided by 11 is equal to 15. We started by putting a 10 below the 100 to make 11 groups. And there's 55 base 10 blocks left over that we can evenly split between the 11 groups by putting them on the right side to make the groups longer. Here we have 168 divided by 14. We model the dividend 168 as a 100, 6 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 8 ones. We make 14 groups of 10 as 140. We have 28 left over because 140 plus 28 is equal to 168. We can't add more groups because we're only supposed to have 14, so we put more into each group going across in the rows. See? It makes the groups longer. 168 divided by 14 is equal to 12. There's 12 in each group. We can use quick drawings to represent base 10 blocks. We have 144 divided by 12. That means we have 144 in all that we're dividing equally into 12 groups. We make a square for a 100. We draw lines for 10s and we draw little circles for 1s. We have 12 groups and because 100 is 10 groups of 10, we have 10, 11, 12. And we can put another 10 here with two more and another 10 here with two more, that will put 12 in each of the groups, in each of the 12 groups. What we're doing is we have 100 and two tens, that's 120, and we have 10, 20, and four, that's 24, that makes 144, and 120 divided by the divisor 12 is a 10, and 24 divided by the divisor is a two, and the 10 and the two are our partial quotients. We had 12 groups, 10 and two more, that makes 12, and we have 12 in each group. And for those of you who have your multiplication facts memorized, you probably already knew that because 12 times 12 is equal to 144. Modeling two-digit divisors is related to the multiplication by two digits that we learned in fourth grade math 3.3 and 3.4 for area models and partial products. We actually used this drawing. If we have 15 times 17, we put a 10 times 10 here for 100 and a 5 times 10 here for 50. That makes 15 groups of 10. We can add a 10 times 7 here for 70 and a 5 times 7 here for 35. That's a 10 plus 7 more. That makes 17. So for 255 divided by 15, we have 255 in all divided into 15 groups. There'll be 17 in each group. We have 15 groups, so that's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That's 15 groups of 10, but for 255, we would still have a 100 and five ones left over. So we can regroup these as seven tens and 35 ones, and it'll look like this. 
Here we have 156 divided by 13. That means we have 156 in all, and we need to put them into 13 equal groups. So we start with a square of 100 as 10 groups, then place three more groups below the 100 to make 13 groups. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, and 6. We have 26 counters that we need to evenly split to each group. We can put 10 here alongside of our square of 100. Then we can put 3 here so that we're putting the same amount into each group. Now we can put another 10 here and we can put these 3 here so we have the same number in each group. We can see there's 10, 11, 12 in each of the 13 groups. So 156 divided by 13 is equal to 12. We have 130 and 26, that's equal to 156, and our partial quotients are a 10 and a 2. It's 12. And we can group quick drawings by hundreds and tens, then by tens and ones, to help us see the partial quotients. We had 156 divided by 13. Here's our 13 groups, 10, 11, 12, 13. And we have 10 in each group here, and we added two more into each group. Our partial quotients are a 10 and a 2. There's 12 in each group. A remainder must always be less than the divisor. For 13 divided by 2, the answer was written as 5 remainder 3. But the remainder must be less than the divisor. 3 is greater than 2. This means we can put one more into each group. We have 13 counters in all. If we split them into two groups, we can put one more into each group. 13 divided by 2 is equal to 6 in each group with remainder 1. This is correct, and the remainder 1 is less than the divisor 2. If you're ever doing division and you get a remainder that's greater than your divisor, that means your quotient should have been a little bigger, a little greater. The 6 is greater than that 5. See how the quotient went up? It says to draw a quick picture to solve 204 divided by 17. So this is the first step, the second step, and the third step. So let's start here. It's divided by 17. Our divisor is 17. That means we need 17 groups. There's 10 times 10 in 100. So that's 10 groups and 7 more. That makes 17 groups. And 17 tens is equal to 170. We draw a square of 100 for 10 groups, then 7 lines below for 7 tens to show 17 groups. But we need 204. If we take away this 170, it tells us we have 34 that we still need to draw. We can draw another 10 as a line and continue down with circles as 1s until each group gets an equal share. So we have a 10 and 7 ones, we're adding 17 to our 170. Now we're at 187. That means there's 17 that still need to be drawn. We draw another 10 and some 7 ones, that's the other 17. That totals 204. We draw another line as a 10 and continue down with circles as ones until each group gets an equal share. That means 204 divided by 17 groups, there'll be 12 in each group. Two workers worked a total of 240 hours. If they worked the same number hours for 12 days, how many hours per day did they work? So think, we can divide 240 hours by 12 days to find their combined hours worked in one day. That is per day. We have 240 hours in all, divided evenly into 12 days. We have 100, 200, 
210, 220, 230, 240. For 12 days, we make 10, 11, 12 groups for the 12 days. And that would be 10 plus 10. That would be 20 hours for both workers each day. And because there's two workers that together combined worked 20 hours, we could do 20 divided by two, the two workers, to know that they each worked 10 hours. This entire chapter two is about dividing whole numbers. And from the beginning to the end of the chapter, we're gonna completely understand what's happening as we divide. Our next lesson is gonna be about partial quotients. Then we're gonna estimate with two digit divisors. Then we're actually gonna do long division and divide by two digit divisors. After that, we're gonna see how we can interpret the remainder. Did you know we can write it as a fraction? And then we're gonna adjust our quotient if our estimate is too high or too low. I'm gonna end the chapter with solving division word problems. So I know this may seem like it's going slow, but stick with me and by the end of this chapter, you'll really understand division. I hope you stay safe and stay strong and I hope I'll see you next time when we talk about partial quotients. Bye.